Hi, welcome back to the garden. Today is Saturday, November 12th, and you know what that means. We're going to do a quick review of this garden, and then we're going to go to you and celebrate what's going on in your garden. Today's review is going to be more of a reveal than a review. It froze pretty hard last night. We'll see how things fared here in the garden and in the cold frames. Now this is our third winter doing cold frames like this, and we've had something growing in the garden ever since. And I wanted to show you one of the things we've learned. You want to drape your plastic past whatever you're using for your sides, whether it's bales or wood or whatnot. If you drape it past and then go ahead and pile some other insulating material. Right now I'm using hay. Last year I used a lot of wood chips. I'm going to come back and add some more leaves, obviously. But this is just part of recovering the garden. When I laid these out, I knew I was going to fill in back here, but we got the plastic down. Now we've got our hay over here, and that'll help hold the back. And you can make this as tall, I mean, you can make this as thick as you want to make this, because it's going to break down, and you'll be surprised as you're covering and uncovering how it kind of shifts around a little bit. This is a really good example. We're just draping the plastic over the edge of the bales on the sides, but then we're going to use sticks or whatever else weighted we have to hold that in place. Turned out to be a pretty good thing that I preset all of this and this trap actually came in handy because when I unrolled this last night it was dark and we were able to go ahead and get this covered up. And I think that groundhog is probably going to be hibernating now. You're going to want another stick so it's easier to roll. It didn't get near as cold as they said it was going to get, and that's going to be another problem doing this, is you run the risk of cooking everything. And I can feel the heat coming off of here right now. You go ahead and take your roll right up to the end of the frame. And there you go. I mean, it did freeze pretty good last night. But it could have been a whole lot worse. <laughs> you got to see this. Remember we planted beets here just the other day? Now the one thing you're going to have to watch out for, obviously this was standing up, this was standing up. Anything that's touching the plastic when it freezes is probably going to get singed a little bit. And that's no big deal. With a beet you can actually eat 20% of the leaves during its growth cycle and not hurt the development of the beet itself. With the little preset you can continue gardening long into the winter. But you want to be prepared for the frost. Let's go see what Art did to protect his peppers. Art couldn't bring himself to cut back his peppers. So they've taken up residence in his bedroom. The best south window he has. Art, your bedroom looks like a jungle. Thanks for sharing. Now that's dedication for you. Our beet seedlings are doing just fine. They're expecting a frost down the middle of Texas. Let's go see what Valerie's doing to protect her stuff. As we all know, turmeric, sweet potatoes, and okra do not like any cool weather at all. It looks like harvesting is on the menu for them. And with that recent hailstorm, what do you do with Swiss chard leaves that get hail damage? Well, you make soup. Valerie, your garden is still spectacular. And you're going to have Thanksgiving sweet potatoes just out of a container. Everybody out there can do this too. Valerie's shown us all year long great examples of how to garden in a small area. Thank you, Valerie. These totes work really, really well. Very nice patch of arugula. And our table salad. And even if you don't have any kind of tote, Get some loose straw, loose hay, some leaves, just enough, especially your cold weather stuff. 
There's our radishes. Even with beets, if you have something to put around them, just a little barrier and add just a little hay on top, they'll come through just fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at what Pixie's done to get her garden ready for the winter. Pixie's finished with all her leaves in her last three beds. She's gonna top dress with a little hay, but then they have to extend the fence. As your garden grows, your garden grows. Pixie, this is great. I wanna thank you for stopping by the garden and helping celebrate what our friends and neighbors are doing in their gardens. Please leave a comment down below and let everybody know how much you appreciate what they're doing. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.